guys. God is so good. God is so good. Time is of the essence. Yes, happy Valentine's Day to you, family. But, um, but yeah, guys, <clears throat> when you're not feeling well, it's just good to um, take some time to yourself and go in a quiet place and pray and meditate. And God will help heal you. He will help you. He will help you. And I know, you know, I'm a content creator and everything like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm human. So I like to let you guys see the good times, the sad times, the in-between times, the blessed times, and the times when things are being taken away. But I never give up. I never give up. I have so much to be thankful for. I have so much to be moving forward for. I have people depending on me. And literally depending on me. You know what I'm saying? So I have to take some time for self-care. For some self-care because I can I can feel myself. Um, my voice is getting hoarse. I know when I'm feeling like my, 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 my spirit is being tested. Like my spirit is being tested. And that's why I say you guys got to stay prayed up. If you ever feel you're in a, in a space where... Things are coming at you, attacking you. People are attacking you spiritually, subliminally, virtually. You know what I'm saying? Even on YouTube, there's people that's really, really trying their best to take your channels down. Like they will, they're literally trying to take people's channels down. Like for real, for real. Like seriously, no money in the world will make me want to go and try to harm somebody or try to take their channel down when I know. I have only been being positive to, to, um, you know, this genre, this YouTube, this virtual reality, right? I've always been putting out positive stuff. I just, I let people see my story, my journey of becoming a speaker. And who knows when that will be? It may never come, but I know I put in the work so that I don't have to worry about, you know, being sad because I didn't get there. It's the it's the journey for me. The journey is is amazing. A lot of people don't get to say that they're they're on on here trying to be positive and trying to be on this journey to become a coach or spiritual coach or a manifestation coach. Um, but I put myself out here. So I, I know even me putting myself out here to be positive, I know a lot of negativity will come my way because I have been so transparent, not too transparent, but I do have a real life. I do have my own space, which is my real life. And I don't like to see when people are trying to stop people from elevating, leveling up, you know what I'm saying? And it really, it is a spiritual battle that sometimes we have to go through in order to get to our next level. Like, I don't know any coach that hasn't been through anything because I listen to the coaches on, on the social media. A lot of my coaches, they have a social media platform, whether it's on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram, right? And I'm so glad for that because I get to listen to them and have them inspire me because I remember one of my coaches that I listened to, and I call them my coaches, even though I haven't actually met them in person, I call them my coaches. And the reason why I say that, because I am manifesting that, okay? I don't know which one will be the person that I meet in person. Hey, they may even watch my videos. They may even be, you know, look, listening to me and seeing how they can critique me or, you know, get inspired to say a video about what I'm facing and what I'm going through because I'm, I'm out here and I'm, I'm sharing my story because that's a, a lot of my coaches do say, share your story. Share your story because a real coach, to me, I'm saying this to myself, 
when I'm looking at a coach, if they don't have a story, how can I relate to them? You know, so when I'm looking for a coach and looking for a coach that I want to invest in, because really when I'm buying the webinars, when I'm going, when I want to go sit in the room with them, I'm invested in me, but I'm also invested in, in them. I'm all also supporting them. It's just like somebody on YouTube. When someone sends a person a cash app, they're supporting their channel or they're supporting that person because they're watching their journey, you know? And so that's why I'm so grateful that I'm able to share for free on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, or TikTok, my journey. And that's why I've always said that it's my journey. No one will be able to tell your story. No one will be able to tell my story about what I had to go through in the background, what you guys don't know about. And it's really a lot of the stuff that I go through is really not anyone's, anyone's, you know, uh, business to even find out because it is people will try to dox you and go behind the scenes and see that you're inspiring and inspirational and they don't want to see you you level up or rise and they'll try to go and dox you they'll go try to find out everything about you in your real life and then come back to social media and then do a campaign on you okay they'll try to flag your videos they'll be they'll get a hundred of their subscribers to flag your videos and try to stop you but i say pray pray and ask god to defend you okay pray and ask god to defeat any negativity to mute the negativity to make those things go away okay because when you're dealing with negativity you're dealing with some type of spiritual attack you're you're dealing with demonic activity positive angels and and chosen ones and and enlightened individuals they don't go out and go attacking people or you know building up a, a program to attack a person because they don't like what a person said or did or or you know what i'm saying they can even assume that you did something and it ain't even true and then they'll build a campaign against you. So what I'm saying is like, guys, don't let people come into your life and, and become very negative. You got to mute that out of your, your existence. It's people that are trying to latch themselves onto you just to defeat you. Some people will latch themselves onto you and pretend that they're for you and they're not for you. So you got to have discernment. You got to, that's why I said, you got to go into a quiet place and pray and ask God to defeat your enemies, def defend you from any negativity, defend you from any demonic or spiritual attacks against you and your family. Okay. You have to meditate on his word, meditate, find just, a, if you don't know the Bible by heart, like, I don't know every scripture by heart. I really, I know. I have to sometimes go in the Bible and look for the scripture I'm looking for. I have to go in the prefix or the suffix, and depending on the Bible, and find a scripture for what I'm dealing with, okay? And meditate on it and 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 and, and focus it and, and believe in what God has said. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, pray. Ask God for help. Ask God to send you an answer. Ask God to help you. If you're needing help and healing, ask God for it. If you need help in, in finances, ask God for it. You can be at your very last day. You could be at your very last day and God will send someone and call you. God will have someone. You see, I just was on live and someone called me. Someone called me to give me another chance. I kid you not. I kid you not. I try to stay open and honest as much as I can on this video, on this YouTube. Okay, because I know someone else is going through something. They're going through a battle in their finances. They're going through a battle in their body. They're going through a battle in their mind and they may not have anyone else to talk to, anyone else to relate to. But I tell you, you got God. You got God. 
And I'm glad that I get to see people on YouTube or social media. And I'm glad some of these these chosen ones are on social media because if it wasn't for the chosen ones, enlightened individuals, spiritual mindset people who know how to relay God's message. And I consider myself one of those people. You know what I'm saying? Because really, I really do. Because most of us, if we're chosen ones, what we're saying is not scripted. It's not scripted. It's not used to attack anyone. It's not used to make people come and, and latch on to you who are ungrateful. It's not used for that. Okay? God is speaking through us. That's why I say everything that I have gone through through up until this very moment and even after this moment God is with me he is in control I can be facing something that uh, again okay again that I've been through but I don't want to go through it again I don't want to go through it again and I don't have any answers for it I don't have any answers I don't have any answers for it, but I have to go in prayer to get the answers, right? I can't depend on what my thoughts is. I have to depend on the greater good, the, the most high, you know what I'm saying? The most high, the creator and the beginning and the end of me. The one who created me. I have to go into prayer and ask him for help. Because sometimes what, what I'm doing is not enough. It's not enough. Sometimes what you're doing is not enough. And you're wondering, why isn't God, why do why isn't God coming or helping right away? Why isn't it happening for me right away? But you can't, you can't be thinking like that. You can't be doubting God. You can't. God does his thing in his own timing. But what you can do is pray and ask God for answers. Ask God to help you swiftly. Ask God to make haste with you. To send you help before all destruction goes get ready to come. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You have to ask God for help. You can't ask man. Man will do what he wants to do. But when God gets in the middle of it, he will change that person and make them work in your favor. He will, he will help this person in their life. So to be aware of that, you are the good you are a person that you have always claimed to be you know what i'm saying a helper or inspirer a motivator but you know what public speakers motivators and inspirational speakers they need motivating too they need motivating too and i don't you know i don't know You know, who is the best motivator for you other than the most high God? But God will give you discernment. He gives us all discernment to know who's for you. Like I know he has, he has given me discernment to realize who will coach me to become a great coach. Who will coach me and train me with the best strategies to help me become the best public speaker who will help me and train me in a way or teach me the right principles of writing a book about my journey my autobiography you know I know I can do it on my own but I don't want to do it on my own I want others to be a part of my journey because I know God has his hand on me. He speaks through me. He shines upon me. He is in me. So 
I hope this was a blessing to somebody to know that you're not the only one that's going through things. You're not the only one that's facing a lot of things in the blinking of, of an eye. You can have it all, but you can lose it all in the, in the blinking of an eye. I'm telling you to hold fast to God's word and he will change things within a blink of an eye. Within a blink of, a, of an eye, I was I just turned on this video to tell you if you're going through something, go somewhere and quiet and pray and meditate. As soon as I, I park here, see, I'm at Walgreens, getting ready to pick up some things for my mom. And wondering, brainstorming. Of where my help is going to come from. Before I even got a chance to sit here quietly and get the phone right, I got a phone call. A pleasant woman called me from a place I've I've already I've already you know had some experience with, and she called me back. Because I put in, I put in the work with faith, hoping that I would get a return call. But, but guess what? I still, I still have to keep my faith in God because I still haven't received the answer that I need. You know what I'm saying? So... But it was just a blessing to know God is still working for you. God is still in control. God is still working it out for you. For me. God is still working it out for me. God is still working it out for you. And I'm so glad I get a chance to come on this channel, Conversations with Bronze, because my main channel is on strike right now because um, I got flagged or something happened or I played... Um, the movie and I wasn't supposed to play it. I didn't know I couldn't play that movie after I purchased, I rented the movie off of YouTube. I thought I could just play it. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, play it to the audience on my stream yard. But that was a no, you know, I, I've, I've played stuff before, you know, and I never got a strike, but evidently somebody struck my channel. Someone who a viewer must have who watched me, who probably don't care for me, struck my, my channel because the day before I did the same thing and they just they just canceled the channel, right? Not the channel, they canceled the video. And um but they still let the video be seen. If you, you know what I'm saying. So I did it for the second time. I'm thinking, okay, so they probably let me be able to share the video. So I I did it again to just be, you know, to be an inspiration to somebody working on their goals and it didn't work. So they took, they, they put me in time out. So I have seven days that I can't post, I can't go live or I can't um, upload a video, which is fine. But I still can, you know, comment on some things, I, I think. All right. So that's why it's good to have a backup channel, because when you have a backup channel, hey, just try, try again and learn from your mistakes. That's it. We're no one's perfect. No one's perfect. People probably thinking, looking at me, thinking I think I'm perfect. I tell you, I am not perfect. I do no harm, but I don't. I don't. I, I try not to to get in anyone's way to harm me. Okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But I do speak up. I do speak up. That's why I have a YouTube video. That's it. That's all I do. I don't go out there protesting on the side of the road. But if I have to, I will. You know what I'm saying? If it's a cause that I believe in. But right now I'm using my social media to make a difference, to inspire someone to keep moving forward and to don't give up and pray and ask God for answers. Ask, ask God to help you. Ask God to relieve you of the pain that you're going through, physically and mentally. Ask God to help you financially, spiritually, Ask God to help you in your home life, 
and help you pay your bills, help you, you know, keep a car, help you um, work on your goals, help you to achieve your goals. Ask God to help you. Ask God to help you find a better job. Ask God to help you find a job that'll give you better income and benefits. You, you got to ask God for everything. You got to make it plain, but you got to make it known to God. You add if you have not because you ask not. That's what that's really what it's about. Like if you really want that business to flourish, you gotta ask God first. Then you gotta believe. Then you gotta see yourself being successful. Then you gotta make sure you're still doing the work. I'm doing the work right here on YouTube. I'm learning different things that I can do on YouTube. I'm learning the things that I cannot do on YouTube. I'm still trying and I'm still going to go and I, I don't give up and I won't give up. Some days I want to give up. Some days I want to give up everything, but I can't. I have to keep moving forward. I, I got to keep moving forward, okay? And I want you guys to do the same. Keep moving forward. All right? I've been on here 21 minutes. It seemed like I've been on here an hour. But I'm just sitting here in the car trying to um, push through, guys. Trying to push through and praying that God send me the answers that I need. Like, I need the answers now. I really do. It's, it's, no, it's no joke. It's no joke. It's no joke. Like, for real, for real. Like, this close. This close. God will help you when you're this close. So that's why you don't, you never give up. You never give up. You could be this close and God will send you a phone call. He will send you a phone call. Or when you ask someone for something, they'll give it to you. And I'm not saying monetary things. I'm not saying that, but that's, if that's your situation, yes. You know, and you don't have to ask anyone. You pray. You pray and ask God for it. And if you do have to ask, you pray God before you ask that person. Because you don't want to ask everybody. Like one thing, I don't ask everybody for anything. I rarely even ask anybody for something. I go and do it. I go, I go do the work. Even when time is hard, I go do the work. Even when time is great, I do the work. Some days I don't even know where my strength comes from, but it comes from the Lord. Some days I just can't even get out of the bed and I'll stay in the bed all day. Pushing through my pain. Pushing through the pain, guys. So on that note, I'm just saying, like, keep pushing through. If you need inspiration, you got to call on the Lord. If you need help, you got to call on the Lord. And if you need to watch somebody's video, if you need a chosen one channel to watch, watch mine. Go and watch my old videos on my main channel, the original Princess Bronze. You know what I'm saying? Go watch, go Google chosen ones in, in the um, search bar on YouTube. And you'll find a lot of great chosen ones speaking. But use your discernment. Use your discernment. Some people don't have the passion. Some people don't are not doing it because it's within them to do. Or that is them as a whole person. You can listen to someone and say, okay, that person... He, you know, he he's letting us know like he's been through some things. He letting us know, and you can hear it in their voice. You can see it. You can see their actions. Their action is what speaks loud in the words, guys. Let me tell you, action speaks loud in the words. I get on here sometimes. I might fumble up what I'm trying to say. My message may not come out right, or you may think. Because I said this such and such is really like that. And I could have been like, dang, I said it in the wrong way after the video was already done and over with. And then I'll, I'll be like, oh, my God, I didn't even mean to say it like that. I didn't mean it 
for it to come out that way. You know what I'm saying? I go back and listen to my videos. I go back and edit my videos. I go back and, and understand, like, for real, for real. I didn't mean it to say that, to say, make it come out that way. But some, most of the time, I rarely even change up anything. You'll hear me, hear me just say, oh my God, I didn't mean to say that while I'm on, on camera saying it or video. I'm correcting myself as I'm saying it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, sometimes I'm not going to be perfect on here. Don't look at me as a person who's trying to be perfect and then start turning your against me like that. Don't do that, guys. Don't watch people videos and then start turning against them. Because it happens. It happens. People will watch your videos and really start disliking you or throwing shots at you. Because they know someone else is going to watch it and going to hear them disrespecting you on camera. They do it to me all the time. They do it to me all the time. But it, I have to be the one, the bigger person and say, listen, I'm not even going to address that. I'm not going to even say anything right now because I don't want to. People want to see two people arguing and having a fight. OK, I'm not going to do that. Now, I might come back and do a video and respond to that video because I tell you never react always respond now sometimes you don't have to respond but sometimes a response is needed because these people will try to defame your character and disrespect you okay so even in that instance go to God in prayer go to God in prayer ask him for what you want Meditate on it. See yourself getting it. See yourself um, doing it. And then keep doing the work to get there. Okay? On that note, guys, peace and blessings to you. And, you know, never give up. Keep moving forward. God is going to send you some help. God is going to send you a phone call today. I have faith that you will get your answer. After you ask God for whatever it is you need. Okay? Never give up. On that note, peace and blessings.